Good day everyone. So for today's video, we're going to discuss something about an important topic in mathematics, particularly in general mathematics of the senior high school, and that is all about functions. So we'll be dealing with functions as models. And first, we're going to define what functions are. So a function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the reach by some rules. Okay, when we say domain, these are set of values that the x can take, or a set of values that x can take, while range is the set of values that the variable y can take. Okay? Now, it says here that it is a relation. And what do we mean by a relation? A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a second set of values called the range. So let's go back to the definition of function here. So it means that we are relating a domain or we are re relating elements in the domain with that of the range, but we have this what we so-called rules. Okay? So that is the difference between relations and functions in, in, in a sense that a relation do not have restriction while um, a function uh, we are relating domain with that of the range by some rules. So, meaning, we'll have restrictions. And um, to deal with, there, um, there are kinds of relations that we have. We have one-to-one, -one, wherein its best example is this one. Uh, the picture uh, illustrated here. We have a husband and a wife. So, uh, sa, to sa totoong buhay naman, um, Isa lang dapat, merong wife and a husband. Okay, so that illustrates a one-to-one -one relation. We can also have uh, your name with the owner, of course, or with the person, with the, with the person's identity. Next is that we have many-to-one relation, wherein um, the example here is the students to teacher. Okay, so that's many-to-one relation. And so with one-many or one-to-many Relation wherein the example here is a mother to his or a mother to her children. Okay, but which among these kinds of relation is a function? Okay, so among these three, which do you think uh, illustrates a function and which uh, illustrates just purely a relation? So let us imagine a machine. A machine um, requires an input and it would produce an output okay it says here that if it generates one or more outputs if it generates one or more outputs then it is a relation let's say for example uh we put one let's just uh one input okay but then it generated one or more output ibig sabihin that illustrates a relation while if a machine generates only one output, then it is a function. Let's say, for example, um, you have three input. Though you have three inputs, um, still the machine generated only one output. Then that illustrates a function. Okay. So among here, among the the different kinds of relations that we have, only one to one fun or one to one relation. And many-to-one relation illustrates a function in the sense that it only generates one output, okay? While one-to-many relation is just merely a relation, okay? Hence, if we will, uh, if we will um, conclude, a relation is a set of is just a set of ordered pairs, wherein on our previous definition um, that a relation is a rule that relates domain to that of the range. Ibig sabihin, we have an ordered pair. We have x and y. Hence, a relation is a set of ordered pairs wherein there is no restriction. While a function is a set of ordered pairs or set of ordered pairs x and y such that no, no two ordered pairs have the same first element. It only means that bawal pong maulit yung domain. Okay? It is emphasized by this statement that no two ordered pairs have the same first element. Bawal pong maulit si domain. Now, uh, functions can be uh, can be illustrated in different forms. 
it can be illustrated just like on the uh, previous definition that it is a set of ordered pairs. So we can illustrate it using an ordered pair. We, it can also be illustrated through a table of values. And if we have a table of values, then we can definitely graph it. And so we can, uh, we can illustrate functions using real life situations. So let's proceed with the first one. Let's illustrate a function through a set of ordered pairs. Let us have this first example. So for example, we have set F, wherein the set of ordered pairs is 0, comma, negative 1, 2, comma, negative 5, 4, comma, negative 9, and 6, comma, negative 13. In this sense, sabi sa ating definition that it is a function if uh, no two ordered pairs have the same first element. So ang titignan lang natin are the x values or the domain. Meron bang naulit kay domain? If walang naulit kay domain, then this set of ordered pairs represents a function. Okay? Next, we have a, 0, b, negative 1, c, 0, d, negative 1. Alright? Though umulit yung ating y, but still, yung restriction natin when it comes to the definition of function is that bawal pong maulit si x. And since wala naman pong naulit kay x, then still, this set of ordered pairs represent a function. Next, we have 5, comma, negative 10, 25, comma, negative 50, and 50, comma, negative 100. Still, if we take a look at the values of x, wala pong naulit, then this set of ordered pairs represents a function. And lastly, if we have this one, negative 2, comma, 0, negative 1, comma, 1, 0, 1, and negative 2, 2. Okay? You notice that, uh, that there, uh, there are two ordered pairs wherein they have the same first element. This one, this ordered pair, and this ordered pair. In such a way that, naulit po yung negative 2. Hence, um, this set of ordered pairs does not represent a function. Okay? So that's how we illustrate function using a set of ordered pairs. Next, if we have a set of ordered pairs, then definitely we can actually put it in a tabular form. And that is the, what we so-called table of values. So the table of values shows the correspondence between the set of values of x and the set of values of y in a tabular form, just like what I have told you a while ago. Now, let's, uh, let's have some example. The correspondence of x and y were in x is uh, the values of x are 0, 1, 4, 9, and 16, where, and it corresponds to a certain value of y, as you can see. Now, does this table of value represent a function? Definitely, yes, because wala pong naulit kay domain, or walang naulit sa x. Next, is that we have negative 1, negative 1 fourth, 0, 1, 1 fourth, and 1. If we take a look at the values of x, still, wala pong naulit, then this table of values represents a function. Um, a more, or uh, uh, a lot of books, or some books are um, still considering the what we so-called mapping. Wherein, sa mapping, gagawa tayo ng, let's say for example, dalawang figure or dalawang circle. For in for example, these are the values of x. We have 0, 1, 4, and so on and so forth. And then we have another one. We have negative 5, negative 4, and ne negative 1. And then we are to map uh, the correspondence of those values. As for example, 0 k negative 5, 1 k negative 4, 4 k negative 1, which still is um, uh, a great way to represent a function. Okay? And kapag merong... Uh, merong value ni x na naulit dito, then th that, that does not represent a function. Next, if we have uh, represented the functions through table of values, then we can use those values to graph it in the Cartesian coordinate system. But then, how are we going to represent or determine whether a graph um, represents a function or not. Paano po natin masasabi na merong nauulit kay x? Okay? So, a graph can be distinguished whether it illustrates a function or not through the vertical line 
test. And what do we mean by this vertical line test? So vertical line test is a test or the vertical line test for a function states that if each vertical line intersects the graph in the xy plane at exactly one point, then the graph illustrates a function. So ibig sabihin, let's have an example. If this is the graph, then if we are to, uh, to draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph, kahit saan mo siya ilagay. And if the vertical line or if any of the vertical line intersect the graph at exactly one point, then that illustrates a function. In this sense, or in this example, does this, uh, does this graph illustrate a function? Okay, so that illustrates a function because uh, when we draw or when we draw the vertical line, it only intersects the graph at exactly one point. Next is this graph. Let's have this, uh, a circle. So if we are going to, um, if we are going to draw vertical line anywhere on the graph, so for example, here. So for example, here, if you would notice, it intersects the graph at several points. So dito na lang, several points or two points siya nag-intersect. Well, definitely, this graph does not represent a function. In a way that it intersects the graph, at uh, the vertical line intersects the graph at several points. Kailangan po, isa lang. Okay? Kasi ang ibig sabihin, na yung vertical line ay nag-intersect into several points, then ibig sabihin na ulit yung x. Or na ulit yung dami. Next, let us have this one. If I'm gonna put the vertical line here, or let's say for example here, or even here, does this um, illustrate a function? Well, definitely, yes. So it illustrates a function in a way that uh, the vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. So last one. Let us have this one. Does this graph illustrate a function? Say so for example, this one. Though uh, you have uh, you notice that this is this is a shaded part, meaning this is actually the graph of an inequality. So if that is an inequality, well, therefore that would that won't be an uh, that won't be a function in a way that it will intersect the graph at several points. So, ibig sabihin, this graph does not represent a function. Okay? So, that's how you distinguish graphs, whether it is a function or not, through the vertical line test. Okay. And there are a lot of real-life scenarios wherein uh, functions are were illustrated. So, for example, a jeepney and its plate number. There, there, there should be no vehicle or there should no be or there should be no jeepney wherein they have the same plate number. Plate number is just like the identity of the vehicle. Okay? So, uh, kailangan po, one-to-one one, or sa isang jeep, meron tayong isang plate number. Okay? Next is a student and his ID number. In such a way that the first statement is our domain, a student. And then, our second statement is our range. So, a student and his ID number. So, sa isang estudyante, meron dapat isang ID number. So, this also represents a function. Wala pong, wala pong isang estudyante na tatlo ang ID number. Ibig sabihin, tatlo ang identity? Definitely not. Okay? Next is, a teacher and his cellular phone. Okay? Take a look at the statement, a teacher. So, that's one. And then his cellular phone, okay, which actually pertains to just one cell phone. So meaning, this represents a function. But then, if I say a teacher and his cellular phones, a teacher and his cellular phone. So marami ng cell phone si teacher. So si teacher, yung the main, at yung range niya is yung cell phones, or yung marami ng cell phone, then that, that, that will be the time na hindi natin siya marirecognize as a function. Okay? Next is a pen and the color of its ink. So, we have here a pen. So, it, 
it only pertains to one, and then the color of its ink. Okay, the color of it, the color of its ink. If it's a normal ball pen or if it's a normal ballpoint pen, then that would represent a function. But um, nowadays, di ba meron tayong na uso na mga uh, ball pen na maraming tinta or maraming kulay yung uh, tinta. So in that sense, if yun yung tinutukoy na ten na a pen and the colors of it of its ink, then that won't be that won't represent a function. Okay? At kung mapapansin natin na kapag function siya, ito ay katanggap-tanggap sa lipunan. While if it's not or if it's just barely a relation, then that would be the time na medyo um, against siya sa norms ng society. Okay? Wherein, kapag bagay naman, ito yung mga madaling masira, tulad ng ball pen na maraming ink, ba? Diba? But if it's a normal ball pen, then tatagal siya longer than the lifespan of that of a pen with a several colors of the ink. Okay? Next, let's have this problem. It actually is, uh, or it, this problem actually represents a function in a way that, it says here, a car has traveled a distance of 124 kilometers in 4 hours. So we have to find the speed of the car. So in finding the speed of the car, let's say for example, the speed of the car is determined by the time, of course. So we have the function of S of T. So that would be what? That would be the distance traveled, the distance traveled by the car over the time it took or it takes. Okay, so meaning um, this problem will represent a function and is being modeled by the formula we have uh, we have here. So we have s of t equals d over time. Okay, so that's that's what functions are, and that's how we differentiate function with that of relation.